guys it's Nicole welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter so today I'm going to be making one of my um, journal spreads I'm going to uh, collage a, cup, a couple of pages within my journal to create this you know full page spread inside of my gratitude junk journal so this is my fall journal that I'm working in and I'm just creating myself some journaling space as well as something interesting to look at while I'm doing that for inspiration. So go grab your stuff and we can work on a two page spread together. I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is my autumn journal. It's my gratitude journal that I'm working in for the fall, autumn season, whatever you call it. I know fall hasn't started just yet. I think it's like September 20 something, maybe it starts. So yeah, I just started to um, create some of the journaling spaces that I'll be using inside of this book. And what I've decided to do is go straight to the first full page spread that I can find in here. And I'm just going to create two um, journaling spaces right here on these two pages. So if you saw the thumbnail, then that's what we're making. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so here I'm going to just start off with some cardstock that I cut down to fit the page and inked all around it. Really simple so far. I'm just going to use some, <clears throat> some glue stick and um, yeah just get this page down on the right hand side of the journal so I'm just using glue stick to start and I'm gonna put fabric fix glue only in the corners just so that I can have some reinforcement I'm not going to um, glue this up too much it will hold it's just paper to paper so nothing dramatic is happening so far so this should fit nicely right here on this section of the page wow I didn't realize I cut it so perfect now I have to push and tug and get this in right here on this section and then wipe away the rest of the glue with a dry wipes do I have a dry wipe? I will have to. Oh, here's one. Here's one. This is my tie dye dry wipe. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to wipe away any of the excess glue that happens to be oozing out on the sides and try not to transfer any of this ink anywhere on the journal page. So, let's see. From here. This gives me plenty of space right up here to write. And um, I think I'm going to use some book page right down here near the center. Ooh, it is pouring rain outside. And I made the mistake of watering the plants already. Oh, well. Ugh. And when I say pouring, there's like a huge downpour of rain falling from the sky. So yep that's happening again I'm just using some book page with um, some glue stick and some fabric fix glue and I just put glue uh, all over the center and then fabric fix only in the corners so let's see how this works out um, because I mean you know not trying to be perfect but I like the way I had it laid out and I'm trying to replicate that or duplicate that so anyway I hope you guys are having a great day it is I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore I think it's Thursday <laughs> and um, yeah so yeah I hope you guys are having a great day today and are considering doing something crafty I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it is coming down pretty hard. <laughs> All right, so now we have that. And I have this giant washi of a mushroom. And I think it'll look really cute, like right there. And then I have the word thankful. And I was just going to pop that right on there somewhere in the middle. 
and um, yeah so let's do that let me grab my pokey tool and separate the mushroom from the backing well separate the mushroom from the backing not the backing from the mushroom so what I did was I went around the, the washi uh, stickers usually have like a huge border all around it so all of this excess um, washi was all around this mushroom and I just went in and cut it a little bit closer for purposes of it going into this book okay so that looks great and then I'm just going to use my glue stick right here and get this word right there on the center of this spread and then we're done with this side guys like it took almost zero effort to do this okay so that's one side of my journal spread I'm going to do this left side now and again I'm just using glue stick and this is just a notepad page that I pulled from a notepad. So I grab these at the Dollar Tree. Every time I see them, it has plenty of writing space in here and I use them in my journaling. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of Fabrifix glue in addition to glue stick, just on the corners really, and um, get this stuck down in my book right about there. <laughs> it's probably a weather alert. <laughs> uh. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then I'm going to place just this decorative sheet right here. On the, um, the right side of this page right here and I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom so I just went in and cut this edge right here with my pinking shears can you see that so yeah I just cut this edge right here with my pinking shears just to give it a decorative edge and I'm just gonna push that all the way up to the corner of the page and oh, I wanted to get this in so let me see if I can still get this in this is just a little bit of book paper I wanted to place it right under here and it just has some funky dates on it April 1966 did I say that? 70, 1970. So yeah, there's just a, quite a number of dates on here that I thought would be cute. April 15th, 1970 is the last date. It says lunar flight next to it. Up here it says Paris, October 15th and 17th, <laughs> 1783. So I'm not really sure what these dates really represent because I did remove that section of the um, of the page. So here, I'll back you back up. And in addition to um, those two sections, I uh, still want to put another mushroom on here. So I went in again with another washi mushroom, and I think that's going to look good right there. Mm, yeah, right about there. So I just want to make sure all of my structure is down. My page will curl because well, there's the thunder. My page will curl because it is um, glue stick that I'm using. So, and again, I'm going to remove the sticker from the from the backing. And just going to pop this down right here in this lower section
and up at the top of the page where this area is blank or clear or white or whatever you want to say I'm just gonna put in another little sentiment that says goodness on it because we all try to be good during this time of year it's getting close to Christmas and we want to get we want to get gifted <laughs> so goodness is a great way to start the season And down here at the bottom, I'm just going to add another little sentiment, but it just says September. So at least I know that this is the month that I started working in this journal. All right, guys, I think that's it. I think I got it all. I got it just the way I want it. All right, so that's going to be my first uh, journaling space here in this book. And I'm just cleaning off my fingers. I am going to make, um, I'm going to set this aside Sorry, to dry. I don't know that one. I don't believe it. B, stop talking to me. I definitely did not ask her anything. I'm going to set that aside to dry. <laughs> and I have here this cute little mushroom. I am going to place this onto um, a decorative piece of cardstock and create um, a journaling card, a small one. All right, so let me go grab my cardstock and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my journaling card that I want to put together. It has, um, it's just uh, some cardstock that's decorative and I went ahead and cut it to size and rounded the corners and then I grabbed one of my little mushroom images it's just plain paper um, copied onto um, uh, copy paper and I'm just going to mat this onto here and then I'm going to mat the craft paper onto my decorative cardstock I've also went ahead and um, brush through some clear gesso on the back of this to make it a lot more surface friendly for writing okay so that's gonna go there my mushroom is going to go on here and no I'm not using my glue mat just in case I have a desire to cut anything <laughs> I don't want to cut through another glue mat all right, so that's going to go right here, and I will just wipe away any of the excess glue. Okay, and then I'll cut this down to size. And I was thinking of using my pinking shears, but I think I'll just freehand cut it with my Tim Holtz 9-inch shears. And yeah, that's pretty straight to me I think that's about straight okay and then this right here um, it's hard to tell which way is right side up and which way is upside down other than this palm tree right here so I guess I'm just going to drop this right down here or more so right here on this card so for this I will use Fabrifix and I'm just going to go four corners and all over. And then I will smush this into place right about. My phone is on fire this afternoon. What is going on other than the storm? But yeah, anyway, there's that. Now on the back, I'm going to put a little stamp. But in my stamp box, I'm going to pull out just a little stamp right here and stamp the top section of the back of this journaling card. Make sure everything is right side up. Okay. And I'm gonna try to get it as straight as possible and as close to the top as possible, leaving me plenty of journaling space down below. And I'm using VersaFine ink in the color of onyx black and that came out 
better than I could have ever thought it would. That looks great. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this into this little journaling section that I created in the book with a um, bull nose clip. And that'll be my additional writing space right in here. I want to make sure that it's dry. <laughs> I think it, it is because this is gesso and that ink took to it right away. So yeah, I'm just going to pop this right here on the side of this page and add a little bull nose clip right there with a little dangle charm. I use this a lot in my journals. So yeah, that's about it guys. I guy, I, I guy. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great remainder of your day. It's a try it Thursday, guys. I hope you tried this project along with me. And you know what to do down below. Like and subscribe if you found value here on this channel. And um, yeah, tag me in your projects. Let me know what you guys are up to. Don't forget to comment. And um, yeah, just let me know what's going on with you guys. Have a crafty day, guys. I'm definitely reachable by all of my links down below. Chronicles of a Crafter at Gmail, here on YouTube, my Pinterest link, my Etsy shop, and and possibly um, my website. So, and that's all at Chronicles of a Crafter. All right, guys, enough plugging. I will talk to you in the next one. Have a great day.